1 Peter chapter 1 and uh, verse 13 says this. It says, uh, Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind. Amen. Gird up the loins of your mind, the Bible says. Amen. Uh, be sober. Of course, obviously that's talking about uh, alcohol, you know, alcoholic beverages, but also it's talking about uh, just in your mind, you know, don't don't look at things through uh, uh, rose-colored glasses all the time, amen. Uh, but look at it as face value, amen. Be be sober, and hope to the end. The Bible says, hope to the end uh, for the grace uh, that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ, amen. It says, and hope to the end for the grace. That was going to be brought to you. Amen. Now, I know we got, we got people today who uh, uh, put grace at, you know, at the end of everything. You know, at, at the end of every sin, all but grace. You know, at the end of everything, all but grace. And uh, grace is powerful, but I kind of think that people uh, kind of take grace out of place. Amen. And uh, they uh, tell us all the time things like, well, brother, you know, we're saved by grace. Amen. But the Bible says through faith. Amen. Uh, but they want to focus on grace. You know, we're saved uh, through grace. Uh, yeah, but through faith. Amen. So it, it takes uh, uh, to to activate grace for grace to work for grace to work properly uh uh it's, it's through your it's through faith amen it's, it's not just by osmos just because that uh y'all are great or because you know maybe i'm thinking too highly of myself and i think well i'm great amen and then uh but god will understand uh the scripture says that that God has no respect of persons. Amen. That that He has no respect of persons. So so that that's a a, a double edged sword, guys. It it'll 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 cut you, and it'll also help you. Amen. But uh, uh, but it says, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you. At the revelation of Jesus Christ, that grace, Amen, to be brought to you. Uh, so this uh, this thing about well, brother, you know, grace has got my back. Grace understands, great, you know, and, and just all these graceologist quotes. The Bible says in Ephesians six and twenty four, it says, "Grace be with all that love our Lord Jesus Christ." So if you if you want the grace of God, if you if you uh, expect the grace of God to uh, flow in your life, Amen. The Bible says grace is with all those that love Jesus Christ, that love the Lord. So if, if you if you if you want the grace, Amen, guys, you gotta love God. You gotta serve Him. You have to walk with the Lord, Amen. Somebody. Grace be with all them that love the Lord. Amen. So that that's where that's where grace comes from. If you want grace this morning, if you want that power this morning in a very in, in a very big way, guess what you got to do? Amen. You got you got to love the Lord. Amen. You got to serve God with all your heart and and with all your mind. But it says, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient children. Amen? That, that, so, at that revelation of Jesus Christ, guys, comes this word that, that, that a lot of people hold up. Ah, oh, you know, oh, don't, don't say that word obedience. Don't say nothing about obedience. That's legalism. Don't uh, say nothing about obeying God uh, because uh, we're, we're uh, 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 saved by grace and and we're, and we're not under the law, amen, amen, but we're under grace. And uh, they just absolutely just blow that scripture out of the water, amen. 
It says, as obedient children. It said, after the revelation of Jesus Christ, as obedient children. Amen? Guys, you got to obey the Lord. Amen? That that just comes through the re revelation of Jesus Christ. Whenever people start talking talking all this stuff, well, brother, you know, we're not perfect, and and, and all of us is going to do this, and we're, all of us is going to do that. And uh, and so they're, instead of looking for, instead of looking for, uh, the fact that uh, that a saved person is, is is going to have holiness in their life, a saved person, a born again person, is actually going to obey the Lord. Amen. Uh, and so their conversation ought to be something like this: or, or you know, well, brother, you know, we're saved, and so we're going to do that which is right. You know, we're going to follow what the Lord says. Do we're going to have that? urge and that ump within us to follow his advice and to do what he says we're going to have that urge in us to look at the word of god and, and and go by what the word of god says but instead the graceologists go the opposite way oh brother brother you know we're going to sin we're going to live in sin you know well we can't help but to sin and so they concentrate on the on the on the glass being empty amen not, not not even half empty. Glass being empty, <laughs> amen. And and so so guys, uh, you know it, it says as obedient as obedient children, we got to obey God, guys. That's that that just comes with the revelation of Jesus Christ. Anything apart from that, anything aside from that, uh, guys, is not a revelation of Jesus Christ. Anything that promotes sin and and promotes this. This uh, sympathy toward, or, or empathy, whatever, toward uh, sinners. And oh, I understand what they're going through. You know, God has not called us to understand what they're going through. God has called us to make a stand. Amen? And to, and to spread His gospel. And, and a lot of the churchians and a lot of church folk, don't, they don't like that. Amen? A lot of the... Of the uh, those who who sympathize with sinners and things, they they don't like that because they, brother Bobby, they see it as being mean or something. You know, oh, you just you're just being mean, you're just being rude, amen. But it says, as obedient children, as obedient children, amen. Not fastening yourself according to the former lust in your ignorance. You know, there's a time. When the people do do things out of ignorance, amen, because that they don't know any better, they uh, do things because of uh, of well, that's just the way they've been taught. That's you know they've been brought up like that, you know, and uh, uh, so uh, so that's just that's just how how they are, amen, in their ignorance. But he, he says here. Uh, 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 not fastening yourself according to the former lust in your in your ignorance, Amen. Don't don't be ignorant. Don't don't fasten yourself according to your ignorance, Amen. But it says, uh, "But as he which has called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation." I must say conversation, Amen. In all manner of conversation. Amen. What you speak, what you say, what you, how you conduct yourself, and 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 out in public. Amen. In the public eye, in all manner of conversation, be holy. Say that which is right. Do that which is right. Follow that example of the word of God. Amen. Uh, but as He which called you is holy, so be you holy in all manner of conversation. And a lot of people challenge that. Well, brother, how come? Why? Why is that? You know, why do we have to be holy? Why? How? How come? Well, this next verse answers that. Amen. It says because. <laughs> Amen. Because uh, it is written. Amen. Be be holy because I'm holy. That's that, that settles it. Amen. Why? Because it's written. The word of God says it. And a lot of people call that legalism. Well, I don't really care what people call it. Amen. I just know that if God's word says it, we should be doing it. We should be following it. We should be uh, 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 doing what he says 
to do. A amen. And guys, if, if you if you don't, I'm telling you, you, you don't got the grace of God. You don't have his grace. A lot of people talk, well, uh, brother, you know, uh, uh, I know uh, this fruit is not shown in my life and this fruit is not shown in my life, but, you know, or, or they like to defend other people. Well, brother, you know, he's, uh, he's, uh, uh, you know, he's really born again, even though he don't act like it, even though he don't look like it, he's not acting like it, he's not talking like it, uh, but he's really a good person on the inside. And guys, that, that's that's just crazy. Amen? That's just crazy talk. Because as the saying goes, if it, come on, y'all help me out. If it looks like a duck, if it quacks like a duck, amen? If it waddles around like a duck, come on, y'all help me preach. What is it? It's a duck. <laughs> that's, just, that's just the way, it, it's, a, it's, it's not rocket science. The Bible says that you'll know the the uh, uh, tree by the fruit it bears. I mean, it, it says in Matthew, was it Matthew 12? Either make the tree good, amen, uh, and its fruit good, or else make the make the tree corrupt and its fruit corrupt, for, for the tree is known by his fruit. Amen. So it's not really like it's rocket science that we've got to figure out, but yet we we always, always have to uh, have to try to uh, sympathize with with the wicked for whatever reason, amen. But it it says it's written, "Be holy, for I'm holy." Amen. Be holy in your conversation. Be holy in all the you know. And and for those who who think that they can do anything that they want to do and and, and still have the favor of God, I'm telling you. I'm telling you guys, they don't, they, don't, they don't have that grace. They're still in need of the grace that they say they have. They're still in need of that grace. And so, guys, this morning, I just wanted to stop by here. Of course, I, I was prepared to, to, to actually uh, uh, preach an entirely different message. And for whatever reason, I, you know, maybe the Lord is speaking to me, you know. I, but I'm, I'm just saying that... Uh, that the Lord would would have me bring to our remembrance, amen, to gird, gird up your loins of your mind. Gird, gird them up. Tighten them up, amen. Uh, uh, be focused. Be focused on the things of God, amen. And hope to the end of the grace that's brought to you at the revelation of, of, of Jesus Christ. And what is that revelation? Obedient children, amen. That... You're going to be obedient and follow what he says do and do what he says do. If, if not, guys, we need to let repentance come to us. Amen. We need to repent and uh, uh, refocus our thoughts and our minds, everything on the Lord. Amen. Somebody, Father, God, I preach the best of my ability. I know this is, might 